We need to monitor these cats, so we'll be looking at the effect of treatment on respiratory rate and respiratory effort. And as your treatment is successful in relieving pulmonary edema, the respiratory rate should decrease. Blood pressure, we want to watch for serious falls in uh, blood pressure, so we will monitor blood pressure periodically, but only if it's safe to do so without stressing the cat. The advantage of monitoring respiratory rate is that we can uh, monitor respiratory rate going down without having to disturb the cat. And then we'll keep an eye on uh, urea and creatinine and electrolytes, but again, we'll only take a blood sample when it's safe to do so from the cat. For cats that present with weakness and are severely hypotensive, we can consider giving uh, pimabendin as a positive inotrope, providing there's no heart murmur. Many of these cats will not have any dynamic outflow tract obstruction and although pimabendin isn't authorised for use in cats with heart failure, uh, it may help imp improve blood pressure. Don't give IV fluids, it won't help with increasing blood pressure and it'll only make congestive heart failure worse. When should we send these cats home? We usually like to keep them in for as little time as possible. So as soon as we're happy that the respiratory rate has come down to normal, we'll try to get the cat home uh, in an environment where they're less stressed and started on oral medications.